Well, hello. I'm afraid we have a mystery on our hands today. We have to figure out the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you so much for joining today. I'm so excited to review The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, a new book by Stuart Turton. I was supplied an advanced reader copy of this book, courtesy of NetGalley and the publisher, in exchange for an honest review, which this is. I must say it was kind of hard to keep the seven and a half husbands of Evelyn Hardcastle separated in my mind from one of my favorite books of 2017, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but somehow eventually I did. Now, in a word, I would say that this book is long. <laughs> it's pretty long. It clocks in at around 500 pages, but it's also enjoyable. It's kind of a quantum leap meets The Great Gatsby meets Groundhog's Day. It follows a man in around the 1920s, I believe, named Aiden, who is transported into different host bodies to relive the same day over and over again until he solves the mystery behind who murdered Evelyn Hardcastle. It's a group of high society people who have gathered for the weekend at a manor called Blackheath. So you have that wonderful mix of upstairs, downstairs, and um, the way they interact with each other. Now, this makes me think way back, taking it way back, taking it way, way back to Geoffrey Chaucer back in the days when he wrote the Canterbury Tales. This was around 1387 to 1400, so we're talking way back. These stories were comprised entirely of the characters. The plot was not really so much. Basically, people were on a journey and competed to tell the best story to each other. What really made up the tale was these different archetypes. So it's people who were defined by one main major thing. We had all of these different characters who fulfilled their archetypal roles. So we had the wife of Bath, the man of law, the merchant, the miller, the cook, the clerk, the friar, all sorts of different characters who um, were defined pretty much by their archetypal role. Now we see this again and again throughout literature. So think about, for example, Murder on the Orient Express. That story, I would say, of course there's the murder mystery, but really I would say that the real defining characteristic of that story is its crazy, kooky cast of characters. You had the professor, assistant, governess, butler, cook, widow, all sorts of different characters who filled their roles quite beautifully. And then again, more modernly, you see it in The Breakfast Club, the movie starring Molly Ringwald. You have the princess, the criminal, the jock, the brain, the basket case. It's just, um, you see these people who are kind of defined by their roles and they both fulfill them and they feel kind of trapped by them. So you see the same definitely in Evelyn Hardcastle. You have this guy who's trapped in these different bodies, the, um, the rapist. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's one of the bodies. The cop, the old man, the corpulent man, the, the doctor, all these different character roles that he's trying to fulfill while at the same time maintaining himself. Now, the fun thing about these archetypes is that it's very much character driven and I love a good character driven story. The drawback to archetypes is that the characters aren't quite as fully drawn. We find some um, interesting things out about Aiden himself, and I feel like there's a lot more to that character that we could have gone into and didn't, because we spent so much time in these different archetypes' skins, and um, their characters weren't quite as multi-leveled as people might be in the real, wo real world. It's still a lot of fun. Um, almost a little too much fun. I would say that the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle could have been just as effective being perhaps the three and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Um, there was just so much book that by the time we got to the end and the author threw in a couple more twists for the fun of it, it was almost exhausting. As fun as it was following the mystery, following the clues, following the different archetypes, living in these different skins, um, it just went on a little bit too long. The party probably should have ended a lot earlier. <laughs> Seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. K 
Can you solve the mystery? Probably not. Nor should you. I don't think that that's where the fun lies. The fun really lies in just the journey. So, give it a try if you dare. <laughs> I'm not very good at the smoldering mystery look, am I? Oh well, I tried. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next week. Bye.